guys and gals, welcome back to the Iron Man Challenge on the classic hardcore server to Skull Rock. This is Iron Woman right up there. She is. Well met. This is our Night Elf Hunter, and this is her best friend in the whole world. That's Nancy the Boar, named after one of my beautiful channel members. Touch me, Nancy. How's it going, man? How's it going, man? Um, this episode, we're going to be working on two quests here. <clears throat> or three, really. We have the Carnital Shipwreck. We need to get a satchel. I believe a, a Naga has it. We have stealing supplies uh, from some Centaur Freaks. But the first thing we're going to do is go back to Thunder Axe Fortress because we have this quest. No, this this we found Terenus Malum. We had to kill him. He had been corrupted, or maybe he was corrupted to begin with. So we're gonna take this back uh to what you call her in the fortress here. That's what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. Just feed the boy. We have one piece of fish left, but I have plenty of uh cheese. We can switch over. He doesn't care what it is as long as he can eat it. If it's chewable and you can swallow it, he'll eat it. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, we're going to be hanging out here in Desolus for maybe another episode or two. I'm uh, trying to focus on green quests. Better chance of surviving. And we're level 38. If we hit level 40, we could potentially get ourselves a mount. Well, I mean, I can't afford one right now. I have 30 gold. But level 40 in the Iron Man challenge is a pretty big deal. At least it is for me. We've had a couple of close calls. Swing this big, beautiful two-handed axe of ours. We are 181 of uh, 190. To keep on top, top of the weapon skill here. Yeah, if you were pointed out to me... It's even harder to get your weapon skill up in the Iron Man challenge because your gear. You're not allowed to wear any gear with stats on it. Only gray or white items. And intellect is what helps you get your weapon skill up. But we don't have any of that. So it takes even longer for us. Yeah, intellect, I mean, it increases your mana pool and your hit chance with spells, but it also increases your... How fast you can level a weapon up. It's like a double negative for us. We could potentially have three mobs on us if the patrol comes. It's not that big of a deal. We can't take too many melee shots, though. We, we don't really have much health. They don't run away, which is nice. Let's get him healed up here. So we might have to ask her escort her out of here this time. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I haven't seen this patrol. Oh, there he is. There's the patrol. Sorry about the, ma the mouse moving around. I changed my mouse, but I forgot to turn down the settings a little bit, so it's a little bit overtuned as far as the speed.
I think we're hearing uh, one of these bell swarms in here. This looks off to me, the distance here. It is off. That's going to drive me a little bit crazy, especially now that I've noticed it. <laughs> Is it off? It actually might not be off. If you look at her head, her head is centered. It's just because of the way she stands, it's making it look like it's off. I think it's actually... Uh... My Leatrix Maps Plus, Leatrix Plus, gives you a grid, which is pretty helpful. If you're like me and... need the interface as clean as possible. Yeah, I think it's actually fine. If we get out of here safely, I'll check it. Just for my freaks out there. This place is damn dangerous. If you come in here at their level, these mobs are yellow to you. You can pull this whole room really easy. It's like a chain reaction. Well, farewell. Okay, so this luck, we are going to be escorted here. Be now, the thing with escort quests, as you can see here, she's going to walk right to the fucking middle. Okay, I need to get... I need the... the the boar to taunt off of her. She doesn't have much health. Got more than us. I was kind of hoping she'd go out this way, <laughs> but it's fine. You want to let your escort pull? because they can be buggy and she can walk past mobs if you aggro them first and walk into another mob and before you know it you'll have two or three NPCs on you because of the way it's just not the best quest design or the NPC mechanics I don't know however you want to word it but we can take this guy out I don't think there's ambushes that happen. I think she's going to walk out this way. This is actually, it looks like this one's okay. She's actually running up to help, so. They're not all bad. Some of them are terrible. This one seems to be all right. A little mana, we'll let her pull this mob here. Yeah, it's kind of a lame thumbnail there.
Actually, there might be a ambush. It's a common theme with escort quests. Sometimes you can get ambushed two or three times. Not always. Okay, that's completed. You're welcome. She'll run off into the distance there. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming... And the return to... Oh, return to Valerio? I think that's at Nigel's point. We can't wear any of this. Uh, but let's go ahead. Let's make our way... Well, we may as well come here. I think we're, we're closest here. We'll come here to see if this is where the um, the meat is that we need. And then we can come back here to the tower to turn in the scepter quest and maybe fight some Naga to see if we can find the satchel that we need. Oh, we have another quest to turn here at Cormac's hut. Actually, I think it's right here. I think we completed this. Yeah, we did. This is Bibli Futzbuckle. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> Pretty good, man. Keep it real. There we are. We got a little necklace there. We can't we can't wear it. It'd be nice to put on. It's got 70 stam on it. This is a really fun challenge to do if you're, well, I mean, it depends. <laughs> it depends on, you know, how you like to play the game, your play style. But if you're somebody who enjoyed hardcore a little bit, you know, Blizzard's version of hardcore, which honestly isn't really hardcore, even Solo Self Found isn't really that hardcore. It's hardcore -er <laughs> than uh, Season of Mastery, which... Um, or, you know, just that permadeath challenge. The Iron Man challenge is, I think, like the ultimate challenge. Let's see if we've got what we need. We might have to actually go here to get them. Actually, I think we do. We don't need to be here. I don't think they have the sacks of meat that we need. Oh, they do. No, they don't. But there is a chest here. And we like chests. I like big chests. You looked over, freak. We got a large knapsack. Is that a 12 slot bag? It is. Nice. All right, well, we can uh, do that. Nice, we've got a little more space now. It feels pretty good. Yeah, we got a 10 slot there, too. Let's get this mob out of the way. Let's see what's in my chest here. Let's see what I left in here. Probably the best white items in the game. Hello there, sexy. Can't use any of this, but we can sell it, so I may as well just loot everything. I mean, we can use the money. Okay, not where we need to be. Da, 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 da. Um, I got these um, these drinks by Jocko is the uh, brand. The guy has a lot of his own stuff. 
He's ex-military. Some of you may, might know who he is. Um, but he has these drinks. I had some before. I didn't like the flavor I'd gotten before. So the, I got a new flavor. They were on sale. And they uh, It's lemonade iced tea. I like that combination. There's no sugar in it, but... Unfortunately, there's a fuck ton of uh, sucralose in it, I think. Is there? Oh, there's actually not. Oh, it has monk fruit. Oh, I did not know that. Well, maybe I did. <laughs> monk fruit's probably the healthiest uh, natural sweetener you can use. There's another chest over here. Usually if something says it's sugar-free, but it still tastes sweet, it's usually going to have sucralose in it, which, depending on who you talk to... Yeah. You can visit 10 different websites about sucralose, and you'll get 10 different answers one way or the other that sucralose is okay or sucralose is not okay. It's made from sugar. It's 600 times sweeter than sugar. But if you're diabetic, yeah, you're probably going to have problems with sucralose. All right, where's this meat that we need? Let's see if we can find it. Actually, not seeing it. Oh, here it is. Okay, it's in these lighter colored uh, sacks here. We just need six of them. It's crudely dried meat. Nancy's uh, ears just uh, perked up there. This isn't for you, Boar. I have plenty for you. Don't worry. In fact, have the last piece of fish, and we're going to switch over to some cheese. It's interesting. It's like behind the tents here. You don't even really have to do combat with these freaks. Where's more of them, man? That one there? No. Oh, it is. Missed my sting. Been playing uh, New World on the channel. New Let's Play. Man, it is... What a great game it is. I was really late start playing it. I mean, I just started playing it. I bought it when it first came out, but I didn't really play it. I played like three or four hours of it. I didn't know, you know, nothing about it. But after playing Warcraft for so long, the differences in the game are just... I mean, it's a different game, obviously. It's really good. It's such a great game. There's a sack of meat back there. Is that a sack? No, it's not. Shit. The crafting is really interesting in that game. Fishing is a lot of fun. Fishing is not fun. <laughs> World of Warcraft. I mean, unless you're doing achievements, I guess it makes it a little bit more interesting, but... You don't have to worry about leveling. I mean, you level up when you're doing it. But the only time you ever miss a fish is if you don't hook it properly or if you break your line, if you try to reel it too quickly. Like, it's, it feels like fishing. It feels good. The combat is so awesome. The sounds 
are incredible. Great voice acting. The graphics are incredible. I can't say enough good things about it. It's a good, good game. Looks like our last two sacks are right here. Look at that. There's two sacks, and uh, we're fighting a dick right here. Yeah, I went there. I did that. I went there, and I did that. Shit. Is that not one? Oh, it's not one. I thought it was one. A lightning cloud. Shit. A scroll of intellect. Here. I don't think I care about looting that corpse. See if we can find our last one over here. Right here. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, that goes back to Uthek the Wise, I believe his name is. And he's going to be way over here. Get this water, man. Pretty disgusting. It's like iron. Or worse. We also have uh, stuff to collect from Manorok Coven over there, that area. Boy, that's a big-ass buzzard. These mobs are a lot higher level in here. Double up on that. After this, we're probably going to move right down into... Feralus. Ferellus, whatever it's called. I, I never know how to say it. No, son of a bitch. All right, we're just, I'm just going to run out here. I don't feel like messing with this. Get off of me, man. See if we can run out of range without pulling something else. Yes, we can. Why? Because we're a hunter. We need f uh, brains from these freaks. Let's see if we can gather some. I think they do a mana burn. Not been hit by it. We didn't last episode, but I think they do. It says it's a mage hunter, so it makes sense that they have uh, they burn mana off of you. Oh, plague mine. I wonder what that disgusting is. Seems to be a one-for-one one drop rate. We don't need anything off the Infernals, just the Doom Wardens and the, uh, the Mistresses up there, whatever they are, the Succubus. I'm going to stay max ranged here. In case he targets me, we'll run off. Let's see what Plague Mine does here. 13 men unleashed every 10 seconds. Alright, that's not terrible. Every 10 seconds? 
You think he would regenerate the mana lost in 10 seconds, but I don't know. Ooh. Oh my fuck! Did I... No, 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 fuck off! What the fuck is he doing, man? He actually doesn't have that much health for a 40 elite. What the fuck was he running over here for? <laughs> Jesus. I mean, he has too much health for us, but I would expect him to have like, I don't know, 20k, 30k health. All right, he's sculled up. Let's keep an eye on him. I don't like the fact that he runs like that for seemingly no reason. Now, the nice thing about being a hunter is our pet can attack and draw threat while we just go. Feign death most likely would not work. The higher the level the mob is away from you, the more easy it is for them to feign death or to your feign death to be resisted. They just don't go for that nonsense. <laughs> it's like, oh, this hunter died all of a sudden. I guess I'll leave. <laughs> We can get also what we need from these summoners here. I'm going to zoom way out. I don't feel comfortable in this area. Oh, we're getting plagued. Yeah. Ten minutes. Right, I don't think it's that bad. We can deal with these. I just need to get the imp down. Let's do it. I'll take a fire bolt here. So I'm guessing that they have a circular patrol that uh, that elite mob. I can cure pure poisons, but I can't do anything about a disease. And honestly, the cure poison we have, it only works up to level 25 stuff. So even if we got a poison on us at this level, there's a good chance I don't think we'd be even able to remove it. I could have worded that a lot better. <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> you heard the way that I worded it. <laughs> It's not the way that you should word it. Be max range in case she tries to do something to me. I mean, if it's sexy, I might let her do it. But I don't think it's going to be sexy. Holy shit. That is pretty unfortunate <laughs> if somebody's doing that escort quest. There's another wing. We don't want to get too close to that, man. If you do abilities too close to this, you've got all these mobs on you. It's meat attack. He's a 41. He's actually doing fairly well. Oh, he fucking handled it, man. Let's give him a little cheer. A loon be praised. Yeah, give him a little cheer there. Well done. It's not that easy of a quest to do solo. Uh, but druids uh pretty especially around you know that level you're they got all kinds of shit they can do they can heal they can tank they can dps they can aoe all kinds of good stuff i 
I see the pet changed your mind there, lady. Also playing Skyrim. I'm having a lot of fun with Skyrim. I have the most fun, honestly, with just interacting with townsfolk and stuff. <laughs> There's so much dialogue and just kind of like random stuff that happens. Cynics, if you're watching, thank you for letting me know about uh, mods like texture packs. I'm actually downloading one right now. I'm going to try it. It's supposed to make the game look so much better, uh, improve, you, improve your FPS and all this. I'm, I couldn't find a, one of the things you mentioned, but I'm going to try a texture pack. I'm looking forward to that to see how it changes up the game. There are a lot of bugs in the game, um, which is kind of sad considering how long that game has been out. That It's really, really disappointing when developers don't fix pretty big bugs in games. You know, they've gotten their money off of it, I guess. It, I don't know. I mean, it's an old game. But still, people still buy it and play it. But with the bugs, I mean, it's been out for so long, you know, people have figured out what the bugs are and they usually give you a workaround or something. It's just like I said, it's a little bit disappointing that you have to depend on the user community to figure out how to do something if one of their quests is bugged or a location is bugged or something like that. We might get a follow-up to come back and banish these portals, but that could also be a horde. A horde thing. Did I pull two here? No. Gotta go watch out for Rexar. He walks right up and down this little area here. But again, I don't think he'll attack us. I, we left our pet in the middle of the road, and he walked right by it. He didn't do anything to the pet. Now, it doesn't mean he wouldn't attack me, but I have a feeling it doesn't. I, Because I, I can't even attack him. So that's different with guards. With guards, if they're PvP, it'll turn into a sword and you can attack them. But he's a PvP mob, but you can't. There's no way to attack him. So I, I don't think he would attack us but I'm still worried about him because he'd one shot us and end our run that'd be a horrible way to go out you don't want to die in a hardcore run from a mistake if you if you die in a hardcore run you know you've pulled too many mobs or you took too big of a chance that's like a proper way to go out I feel like Oh, this guy's coming up here. Well, let's get him. Deal with this imp. Three minutes left on this disease here. We've got no Doom Warden blood yet at all. got his imp way back there. Almost didn't even see it. Come on over here, loser. Might make for an interesting color popping thumbnail there.
Have some cheese, brother. Oh, I gotta change my macro. Yeah, I need to change this to our cheese. There you are. Have we not seen Doom Wardens yet? Maybe not. I don't think it's the... Uh... Oh! Here's one. I'm not going to panic. Although I can't take too many of these shots. The pet will taunt him off. Look at that, man. We're fucking half health. That's why we have bandages. What the fuck happened there? Did I interrupt myself by targeting... Oh, I guess I did. I interrupted the bandage. Right, it's not that big of a deal. I don't know why I did that. Oh, we've only killed two of these. That's why we've not gotten any blood. So it's not like a one-for-one one drop right there. Yeah, I was talking about the Jocko lemonade tea mix. It's not too bad. We get max range. I don't want this thing on me again. Wait, do I need to kill these? Yeah, they dropped the nether wings. Doom Wardens. Things are pretty badass looking. They do a lot of damage. As they should. I'm keeping an eye out for that damn skull mob. How's the pet's uh, level here? Oh, he's pretty close to level 38. But I don't think he gets anything till 40. Yeah, he doesn't. You get new abilities for him at level 40. There he is right there. Lord Azrathok. Like a weird patrol over there. Missed it. Get some nice XP per kill here. All right, that's it for the fell uh, fell hound brains. I'm just standing up there. Oh, he fucking flies, too, a little bit. That's kind of cool. I don't know if you saw that. He, like, flew off the top there. It's like a demon hunter glide, I guess. Got some nice range. Another sister.
Yeah, a little prelude to the Burning Legion. There's a couple of places like this in the game. Where it's got the, um, like the Outland vibe going on. Not the, well, not the scenery, but, you know, the creatures and all that. We just need two more. And uh, all of the blood. I'm probably going to continue this next episode. Just kind of wanting to go over there and see if we can get lucky with the satchel. But maybe the next episode for that as well. I'll wrap it up here soonish. And I'm going to have me uh, some late lunch, early dinner. Having some burger pat, excuse me, burger patties, making in the air fryer. Delicious. I don't really eat bread. I mean, I will, but I don't buy it anymore. All right. Hopefully, these last two will give us our last two nether wings here. The goodest of boys. The goodest of girls. Out of mana. Drink up. Are you stuck over here, man? Looks like you might be. The cursed mushrooms. Let's see if he'll go get it. Nope, he's stuck. Let's help him out. There he goes. Out in the line of sight. That's pretty cool. Oh, this is another maiden. I don't know what the difference is between the sisters and the maidens. We just got some green gear there. Interesting. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's go see Uthak. Whatever his name is. I'm never going to remember what his name is. Uthak? I think it's Uthak the Wise. Let's untrack these for right now. Less clutter on the screen, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Hey, how's it going? I can't have a buff. It's like, well, don't worry about it. I'm not jumping off my mount to give you one. So. Old Shadow Priest, man. I raided Molten Core on a Shadow Priest. In a classic. When they dropped it in 2019. I can't believe it's been that long already. It's kind of crazy how fast time goes. Especially as you get older. The older you get, the, the quicker time seems to go. And I really think that's just simply because you're not... Uh, you kind of get set in routines and you're not paying attention. You're just going through motions and stuff. Whereas when you're younger, you know, you're running into new stuff all the time. Stuff you've not seen, places you've never been. It's the same way on a trip. I don't know if you've ever noticed that about a trip. The way there seems long because you're looking at everything. The way back usually seems shorter, at least for me. Oh, this is a female character. I didn't know this. <laughs> oh, wow, man. This is pretty fucking fantastic for us. Yeah, we'll take these feathered arrows for 9.5 damage. Maintain your uh, reputation with the Gelkis and bring a Dranath... Shard. Oh, a Swamp of Sorrows. Interesting. Yeah, we'll do that. What about they did go in my ammo slot there? 
We're actually kind of low on ammunition here. Glad I looked. Well, let's hearth back. Next episode, we'll come over here and find the satchel, I believe, and maybe finish this quest up as well. Let's sell some junkaroni. Step on up. I will. Step on up. Let's give this meat to our boy here. That's soul bound, so may as well just sell that. That's soul bound. We have to sell that. We got some hog shank. Some garbage. All right. How are we doing on drinks? We're okay-ish. Let's get some more Moonberry Juice. One more stack. Look at this, level 40. We're going to move up to Jagged Arrows. I love it. But we may as well get a few more. Yeah, because, I mean, we still have a level and a half to go. So let's get some more of these Razor Arrows for right now. See you around. See you around. Clowny Town. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for hanging out for a little bit. Appreciate it. You guys and gals take care. Iron Woman and myself will catch you in tomorrow's episode. Bye. Peace. Mm -hmm.